iOS 11 public beta 2 has been released. In this video, we're gonna find out what's new that's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and iOS 11 public beta 2 has been released. In this video we're going to take a look at what it does offer here and I do want to mention this is a public beta meaning that anyone can get this, you don't have to be a developer for $99 a year, you can go ahead and download this now. If you guys need to know how to do that, comment that down below. I think I also made a video on how to download betas on any iPhone, I'll leave that link if it does relate to this and also I'm going to be doing this on the iPhone SE. In addition, before we talk about this a little further if you are public beta testing they do have the watch os 4 if you do have apple watch as well as tv os 11 if you have an apple tv and mac os high sierra beta 2 is also available so not just for iphone but it does look like it is done before it's done though let's go ahead and run a geekbench here on the public beta 1 so this is public beta 1 i'm going to go ahead and run a geekbench here i'm going to go down hit cpu i'm going to run this benchmark and I'm gonna let this thing run and then I will talk about the features once we get on the next version of iOS public beta. So I'm gonna come back when this is done. All right guys, so on iOS 11 public beta one, we do get a single core score of 2532 and a multi-core score of 4438. So let's go ahead and go back and download this guy and install it here. So I'm gonna hit install now and it's gonna go ahead and install, verify the update, and I'll be back when I'm on iOS 11 public beta 2. All right guys, so I am now in iOS 11 public beta 2 here for the iPhone SE. You can see it does say updated to iPhone iOS 11. Now I'm gonna go in and show you the confirm confirmation of the number that we are on now, so you know if you are on the correct version when you go ahead and download. We're getting another emergency alert, looking like some thunderstorms in Chicago today. Let's go down to general. And let's go to about, and you can see we are now on iOS 11 15A 5318G, signifying public beta 2. Now, you guys wanna know what's new in this release? Well, basically this coincides with the iOS 11 beta 3 for developers release. So everything that was new in beta 3 is now available in public beta 2. So much better, you know, springboard responsiveness, meaning that the springboard where you go to your applications should be a little bit snappier here. So going into calendar, coming out of there, going into settings, coming out of there, you can see it just looks a little bit better, a little bit smoother. And this is good to see that iOS 11 public betas are coming along just good here, meaning we're getting a little bit closer. I'm not going to say fully yet to, you know, I would recommend you go ahead and download this for an everyday user, but we're getting a little bit better in that regard. Also, there's a new control center animation. It's really kind of hard to see here, but definitely a new control center animation here. A little bit better there. Also, notifications have been updated. You can see earlier today stuff here now in the notifications right there. In addition to that, there's a new feature where now you can have content blockers working in Safari. In addition to that, the app switcher bug has been fixed. So no longer do we see like, you know, bugs in the app switcher tray, which helps multitasking quite a bit here in iOS. 11 public beta 2 and as you can see in this video it's performing quite well here on the iPhone SE meaning that if you have an a9 device and above this is gonna perform quite well to be honest with you and also ad blockers are now available across this public beta 2 there's a lot more features that are included in here as well but I'm just gonna touch the surface here with those features now let's go ahead and do a quick geek bench here on this video we're gonna do this again here now we're on iOS 11 public beta 2 to see if it has improved so again I'll be back when this Geekbench is done here for the iPhone SE. Alright guys, so the final scores are in for this Geekbench iOS 11 Public Beta 2. We got a 25-29 on the single core and a 44-36 on the multi-core score. So very similar scores, give or take, one's lower, one's higher here and there. But this is definitely about the same as Public Beta 1. So that's pretty much it here for this release video. Do you guys want to see, you know, speed tests on the iPhone SE as well as the 5S, the 6, 6S Plus, the likes, those phones. We could do those here on the channel, iPhone 
7 but you know what do you want to download it it really comes down to you know do you want to deal with a little bit of bugs here and there I do think that if you are running an a9 device and above so iPhone SE iPhone 6s iPhone 6s plus iPhone 7 7 plus you can go ahead and try this and I think you're gonna be fine for the most part if you're using a device anything lower than an a9 I would recommend you don't even give this a try right now it's gonna be pretty laggy on those devices now this update is gonna take over a gig if you are on 10.3.2 if you guys are on anything you know above iOS 11 beta this is only gonna be like 360 60 400 megabytes on the download so you're not going to lose hardly any space here in terms of battery i haven't used it long enough we, we just downloaded it live to give you a take on that so any questions suggestions comments concerns you'd like to see on ios 11 public beta 2 drop them down below in the comment section of this video if you guys enjoyed this content go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next one share this with a friend and peace